Hello everyone, and this is Death Code again, and I'm back after a long time. And uh, this video will be a tutorial about how to make your own text view that can take a font name and will load it into your text view. Basically, uh, there are pretty much various ways to do to do so. And recently in Under Studio, prior to Under Studio uh, 2.3 or, uh, or earlier, we do not had uh, any sort of functionality to add a uh, font family to our text views. So, but uh, recently Google announced a feature that you can add the fonts to your text view directly but there is a restriction over there you can only choose from a limited number of fonts that are available as Google fonts so if you go and start a new project I will uh, name it as uh, font demo and this just continue over it in uh, your projects you might have uh, used set typeface and you might have uh, fetched font from your assets folder and you might have set it using uh, set typeface to your text view but that's a cumbersome task every time you use a text view in uh, your activity or some place where some place in your program or uh, application you might have always uh, have to use uh, set typeface for each and every font family or uh, each and every for each and every text view and uh, this goes on and on for buttons if you want a uh, custom font for your buttons you might have to do that too in buttons code to like button object dot set typeface so uh, to reduce that task I will what will I be doing is I will be making my own custom text view so for that I have already downloaded a custom font called Oswald and it is also available as a Google font I'm just uh, for the sake of this tutorial I've just downloaded it go to app folder Java no go click on app new folder and choose assets folder and just press finish in this asset just create a new folder called fonts fonts and paste in your paste you can also command v on it and just it will paste it out your paste out your font now we are ready with our custom font now what we need to do is if you go into activity main just remove it and name it relative layout remove these constant layout related stuff and uh, there uh, Google recently introduced font family and you can choose downloadable fonts that means you will have to download these fonts at runtime at whenever application runs in and it will be downloaded as uh, an XML so just go to design tab I will show you that how this thing is picked up choose text view in the font family if you choose more fonts source is google fonts and this is the only source that you have in here and there is no way to change this source or add more sources to it so these are the pretty much limited number of fonts that uh, you are able to fetch out and you can choose from if you uh, like search for Montserrat you will find it but if you search for Helvetica you will not find it you are able to find Oswald in here but there are pretty much avenue next you can not find it avenue next there is no avenue next so there are limitations and it just allows you to choose from google fonts so just uh, to make this more of a hunky dory we will make our own text view no, for as of now we do not have created a class so just go here and uh, make it center in parent so that it will be in parent center and make text size to be hmm, 24 SP my favorite number now that's it now go to your package create a java class custom text view with typeface with typeface let it extend from app compact text view always use like backward compatible APIs so that uh, your text view remains backward compatible up to like lowest versions of Android create constructor matching super select all of them and uh, we will in future we will create a method called init in which we will initialize our text view with the custom font custom text custom font family custom font or you can say just custom font init adders and in it 
errors. Now attribute sets are like these are set of attributes that you can apply to your text view. So in order to gain access to errors or uh, like guys, if you go to text view, these are attributes: text size, layout height, text. Now we already have a font family that picks up uh, downloaded fonts, but it does not allow us to create uh, choose font from our assets directory. So basically, we cannot use it in here. So we will have to make our own uh, attribute, custom attribute. Just go to values and make a new folder called adders. Uh, folder name is not like uh, file name is not mandatory to be the same. Adders. Now this is now if you uh, styleable declare styleable and it will already it will automatically pick up our text view because it was extending from the app compact text view or text view and address will be type face its type will be string uh, my bad format to be string we will be passing along uh, the font name font file name to be specific and we will be picking up this font file name in here and we will be applying the typeface so whenever you will be using this text, uh, text view at any place you just pass in typeface and you will be applying your custom text view uh, custom font family to your text view so just uh, let us just make it uh, okay you can press alt enter in here and create method in it now your method is generated what we need to do if adders not equals to null then we are going to do the things that will be making magic for us so to, be, to begin with it what we need we need access to that declared styleable so it will be a typed array if you have any questions regarding typed array I will be mentioning down the link below about uh, typed array documentation from the Google's official site and uh, it will be equals to get context dot obtain declared styleable and this will be adders or attribute sets r dot styleable dot now if you go to the attributes it will see that this is the typeface and it is similar to our class name so just paste in here you will see that nothing has been gone wrong till now and it says that uh, we have to use recycle okay at last whenever your process of setting attributes uh, to particular view ends up you need to recycle okay so if you go in here a string font name equals to a dot get string and it asks for an index either you can pass zero because if you go into this here you will find that zero is the index because at zero index you are getting some sort of typeface value but uh, android apis provide you a quite an amazing thing that if you go our syllable dot you will see that the custom typeface and its index just give me a value custom typeface and its index will be zero exactly and if you do it again no I'm not getting it to zero but actually but actually it will be returning zero and uh, to identify the particular and because uh, you might have a uh, a lot of values in here if you do this 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 and type is one type is two and type is three and now if you go in here you will see that custom type is one type is two type is three so this returns this returns an integer position and get a string expects some index in here okay so it will be r dot styleable dot a custom typeface will be exactly returning the index of particular uh, attribute you are specifying in here so uh, that is the font name if font name not a person null we will do this if and only if font name is not null so let's do one thing put it in try block so that our program does not crashes into some weird exception if font name not equals to null what we want to do is basically we want to make a typeface typeface t is equals to uh, typeface 
dot create from assets and con get context dot get assets it will be returning an asset manager and just uh, string path so path will be fonts as uh, in assets directory we have a fonts directory in this font we have the oswald font so plus font name that's it that will be all and set typeface and and that here will be catching the exception a base class for each type of exception and we will be printing it dot print stack trace and at the end we will be recycling the type array now this is all we needed to make our own custom text view and apply a custom font family or custom font file name in it so now if I run this project with the uh, default things and nothing changed let me just put my visor on so that we can see what's going on the mobile application okay let's view it this is my mobile phone and let's play it and we are ready to go let it build and uh, I'm also planning to make a another video for my chatbot in which I will be talking about how you will set up your uh, IBM Bluemix Watson API to incur or to function according to your data set that means if you give it a hi it will uh, respond with an intent type of greeting or something and you will then identify that uh, type of intent and you will reply back to the human so this will be the next video uh, now our application is ready now you can see that uh, this is the normal font that comes up in the uh, default mobile applications now let's change this text view to custom text view with typeface and type in typeface and we'll pass in oswald.tdf remember always keep the extension in here if you want to make it without uh, extension you can always uh, come in up in font name plus and append your dot tdf in here but as of now we have uh, coded this in a way with uh, we require the full file name so now if you go main activity activity now our font is ready and you can uh, see that our font is already applied in here now stop it and let's run it Now you can see that our font is applied in here and uh, that's all that's pretty much all we needed to do to make our custom text view with font with some sort of font functionality or extensible font functionality and this thing can also be repeated for a view group that has a text property in it that means if your button is having a text property like set text then or, or a text then you can also apply this uh, same functionality to it and you can just set typeface to in it and you can apply also the radio button you can apply it to a checkbox you can apply it to anything that is a view group uh, or a view group or a view that has a text property in it so this was all about this video thanks for uh, thanks for being with me and uh, if you liked this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like this video give it a dislike and let me know about it what was the reason of disliking it so that i can improve myself that was all about it